Once we've created shapes, we might want to group or combine these shapes into one shape or layer these on top of each other. With the two shapes on my screen right now, I'm going to group these together. I'm going to take my square and drag it right on top of that green shape. Now, as I placed it on top, it actually put my shape behind that green custom shape that I created. But I can use my options to bring forward or send back using my different tools here under the Arrange command group. So I'm going to choose to bring forward, and now my blue box is on top of my green custom shape. Now, once I have layered these and they're positioned the way that I want, I'm going to group these together. Now, we can group shapes together a couple different ways, but the first thing we need to do is select all of the shapes that we'd like to group. I can select these shapes either by clicking on each shape while holding the control key. When I do that, it highlights my shapes with a blue border and I can see that these are now both selected. I can also use the lasso technique to click and drag over the top of my shapes. But keep in mind, if any section of your shape is left out, it will not group that. It will not select it. So make sure if you're using the lasso technique by clicking and dragging over the top of the items that everything is selected. Now, once I have my shape selected, I can go to my Arrange command group where I have the button to Group Object. I'm going to select Group, and now I've turned this into one shape that I can resize or duplicate using keyboard shortcut Control D. Try this on your own. Take multiple shapes and layer them on top of each other. Use a selection method and group those shapes together.